two clubs, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, we lay our scene. Hello everybody and welcome to the CV Champions League Super Finals. Clayton Lucas here with you as we get ready for the women's final between Vakif Bank, Istanbul of Turkey and Italy's A. Carraro Imoko Corneliano. These are the teams arriving earlier on. Vakif Bank in your picture. Gabby, who's never been to a CEB final, has stated that this has been her main aim in coming to Europe and play volleyball. She's achieved that. How much would she pay to walk away with a victory? Joanna Vos will be the starting setter, no doubt, for Vakif Bank and looking to play a very important role for the team. For uh, Imoko Volley, I should say, both the the uh, Bakif Bank as well and uh, Imoko Volley all arriving, all wearing the same uh, same colour tops as well. But there are some real stars of the show that we uh, expect to play well. They expect themselves as well to play well. Paolo Igonu, an absolute superstar who has been ripping, ripping up the record books in terms of points scored and MVPs. Isabella, how are you feeling today playing in your first Super Finals? Um, of course, I'm super excited for this final. We've been waiting for a long time for this moment. So I'm really happy to be able to play this game and I'm very excited. For Vakif Bank, how is the energy on the team over the last few days? Actually really good. We're having a lot of fun and the spirit is good in the team, so yeah. Thanks and good luck with the match today. Thank you so much. Paula, is the feeling for you any different today than your last Super Finals in 2019 in Berlin? Um, I would say yes and no. Uh, there are two different matches, and uh, but I'm feeling excited, like I was two years ago. So I just think it's normal. What will be the focus for Caneliano in the game today? Sorry. What will be the focus of your team in the game today? Um, we're going to focus on our game, uh, on doing the best we can to, blah, 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 to put Vakif in a difficult situation. And how is the team feeling before the match? We are feeling good. Uh, we did a nice practice this morning. I think uh, you, we can't change uh, what we can do now. We practice it all season. So we just need to play and have fun. Thanks and good luck with the match today. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Well, of interesting, of interesting uh, interviews with Paolo Iconu. This is the locker room for uh, Vakif Bank. Everyone going through their own personal preparations ahead of this one. Some players with headphones in, some focusing on social media, some just keeping themselves to themselves. All very different. Everybody has their own pre-match routine in the same way that everybody has their own pre-serve routine. Everybody needs to get into the right headspace for this competition, for this match. One of the biggest matches of a player's career outside of playing internationally. Some last minute preparations on the tactics by the looks of that from uh, Rafael Foley. Can they lose themselves in the moment? Can they focus on what needs to be done? That is the question. Oh, it's so exciting, isn't it? In a build-up to a game like this for the players, for the fans. This was the coin toss earlier. The first referee, Agnieszka Micilic of Poland, presiding over the coin toss, and Dobromir Dobrev of Bulgaria, the second referee, also in attendance. Bowash just working out exactly where on the court, which court there is that they're going to start on. This is the road to the finals.
That was the road to the finals for both teams, and this is how they went about their business of getting to this final. For Vakif Bank, they had to come from behind in the semi final, having lost 3 2 at home to Busto Arcisio. Uh, then they come back and won 3 nothing in Italy. 25-13, 25-15, 25-15. They were two sets to nothing up in at home, but then lost the next three. So quite a turnaround for them. It was uh, plain sailing, though, for Canelliano against Novara. 3 nothing, 3 nothing on their route to the final. It really has been... A very commanding performance from Canelliano this season, particularly in their domestic league. They've won the A1 regular season trophy. They've won the Super Cup and they've won the Cup. They're the current World Club champions as well. So this final represents to them the opportunity for a Grand Slam to win everything. They've never won a CV Champions League final of Canelliano and these two teams actually met in 2016-17 final and there are a few players from both sides who were in attendance then. For Canelliano it was uh, Raffaella Foley number seven and Monica De Gennaro who played and were on the losing side and for Vakif Bank Istanbul there were uh, quite a few players and in fact two players Kimberly Hill and Milena Rasic were playing for Vakif Bank but are now playing for Canelliano. The players who were involved for Vakif Bank who are still playing. Gizem Ergay. And also number three, Jelsa Özbey, the setter. Kubra Akman, number six. Melis Gokeniak, who's the captain, number eight. And also the libero. I catch these are well this is the lineup these are the players we get to see them for Vakif Bank Isabella Hack who's going to be in the opposite slot has got a lot to do it's going to be such a battle between her and the opposite for Canelliano I catch is likely to be the starting Libro Milena Rasic has been superb throughout this competition through the middle and with Mayo Ognjenovic finding her and plus they have of course Gabi Gimares. For Canelliano they too have uh, a world-class lineup for two setters. They expect to see as I mentioned at the start that uh, Wawash will be the starting setter. De Gennaro probably the starting libero. Robin de Kralf and Sarah Farr have been starting, but Raphael Foley may well get a run out. Kimberly Hill through the outside, definitely. And most likely Miriam Siliat. And in the opposite slot, Paolo Iganu, no doubt, will start for Canelianu. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the team, sir. First, Vaki Bank is the Becky Bank making their way out onto court.
Canaliano also now out on court. Quick lineup. Chance for a couple of photos, and then we will get down to the business of the warm up and a chance to see the players pre match in action. Always an interesting moment that for the coaches as well in the warm up. They know in their heads exactly who they want to start and probably already got that down and may well have even written it down. But the warm up does provide an insight into exactly how the players are feeling before the start of the game. And sometimes it does mean that the coaches might well make a change or someone having an absolute flyer in the warm up. You suddenly think, oh, I don't know here, maybe they should start. But unlikely, it doesn't happen often. No doubt, though, a mixture of nerves and excitement for both teams, for both coaches, and for all the fans watching. And also a little opportunity to eye each other up through the net. The cruelty and the beauty of this sport is that both of these teams step out onto court in this warm-up for this CEB Super Final as equals. But only one team will be walking away victorious as champions. And all of that will be played out before our eyes here in Verona. Kim Hill, who has been outstanding for Canelliano and so too Paolo Iconu. And looking at the season comparisons of two outside spikers, there's, there's so little in it. 98 to 80, sets average 3.38 to 2.9. I mean, it's minuscule, isn't it? Say even Stevens, really, because what you don't get is, with, with that particular bit of information, is the number of sets that Barch Hackley got compared to the number of sets that Kim Hill had as well. We know the points scored and points scored per set but didn't really tell us whether they'd had a, a bucket load of sets to try and get that or not. There's going to be interesting matchups and interesting battles all over the court. Gabby versus Cilia. Gabby hits the pipe as well, so and not only that, but Celia's been in and out of the team in terms of starting through the outside for uh, Corneliano. And they also have Mackenzie Adams, number 11, from the USA. And also Italy's Loveth Amoroi, number uh, nine. So whether or not Celia starts really is up to her and how she plays. She's a national team player for Italy. Big hitter, she's a real a confidence player really. When her confidence is high, impossible to stop. Well, when it's not, then she has a few issues. Gabby is just a phenomenon. A unique style of play. And this is the big matchup, isn't it? This is where all eyes will be during the course of this final. Isabella Hark of Sweden up against Paolo Igonu of Italy. 203 points to 174. Now that would suggest maybe Isabella Huck is doing better than Paolo Iconu, but actually what it probably means is that the distribution between the two teams has been very different. Isabella Hack, the go-to player, the player that's probably had the most number of sets to get the team out of trouble because she scores so well, whereas Paolo Iconu is part of the equation of what Corneliano are doing because they've got so many good options. And then you just add in the fact that you can go to Paolo Iconu. And for those of you that watched the World Club Championships, would have seen just how important Paolo Iconu was when she was needed. And she came up big time with the points as she's been doing this season in Italy. One thing that Vakif Bank do have in their arsenal is that player, Milena Rasic, in conjunction with Maya Ognjenovic. Rakeef Banks' middle is a real, real threat and a huge danger. And Coleniano will know that all too well. They, they will no doubt 
be looking at how they can serve in a way to get Vakif Bank out of system. And by that, I mean not able to have all the hitting options that Mayor Gnenovic would like to stop Vakif Bank running the middle. And if they can do that, and then the ball then has to go wide to Barch Hackley or to Isabella Hack, there's a better chance that Koneniano can get more hands against the block, against the ball in the block. But if they don't serve tough enough, and Vakif Bank have got all options, then there could be trouble for Corneliano. Brasic with such experience, a player who has been there and done it, Serbian, former Serbian international. And that is that middle blocker matchup, 99 to 49 again, Rasic has actually been set an awful lot more, but has played more sets, 34 to 18, compared to Sarafar. You've got uh, Robin de Croy, probably the main middle for Caneliano, and uh, Raffaella Foley, number seven. Bosana Butikan, who's uh, been playing as Libro for, Co for Caneliano, down as uh, middle blocker as well. So, just be interesting to see exactly who Daniele Santarelli decides to start as the other middle blocker. You've got to think that the starting lineup is pretty much sorted for Caneliano with Paolo Igono opposite, Joanna Vorosh setting, Kimberly Hill outside, Robin de Cruyff in the middle, and then it's a toss up between Miriam Cilia or Mackenzie Adams outside and Sarah Farr or Raffaella Foley. For well, Vakif Bank, the side probably a little bit more straightforward in how it picks itself. Mayor Gnenovic setting, Isabella Hack opposite. You've got to think that they are two absolute givens. Michelle Barch Hackley along with Gabby through the outside. And then in the middle, Milena Rasic. And most likely, it will be the other middle blocker for uh, could mel well be uh, Kubra Akman or Melis Gurkenyak. But again, for uh, Giovanni Guidetti, we'll have to wait and see exactly who he puts on that score sheet. We can guess and we can make some very good guesses, but until we see it, we won't actually know. Most likely as well, Sarah Gunesh is probably going to be the starting middle blocker for Vaki Bank number 18. This is all about the one-off, the ability to perform in a one-off game. It's not about the long haul, it's not about the season, although Corneliano on a 63, 62, 63 game winning streak at the moment, it's an incredible run that they are having. This really their holy grail. They've tried before and they haven't made it. Will this be their year? Robin de Croy certainly will be hoping to uh, help the team achieve that through the middle. And was a player actually, the 2016-17 final was in between the two clubs from Vakif Bank into Corneliano. Didn't actually play in the final. But she knows Vakif Bank players very well. Opportunity for the Libros now.
transgender. This is Barch Hackley, and that is what she can do. An incredible player, Barch Hackley, for the USA, for Vakith Bank. And up against her international compatriot, Kim Hill. That ball stays hit, and it's same two for Kim Hill. And the competition in the USA for the outside spot is huge. Kelsey Robinson, another player, three players, two spaces. And at one point, Kelsey Robinson was being edged out by Kim Hill. Kim Hill now being edged out a little bit by Kelsey Robinson. And there's rumors that this may well be Kim Hill's last season at Corneliano and indeed the domestic volleyball in that she may well be retiring. Gabby, there's no sign of that for her. Such an instrumental part of Aki Bank and also of Brazil. That is an action that uh, you don't often see taught and isn't taught the way that her right hand comes around to attack the ball, it comes from down to up, which normally you teach players to go up with both arms and come back. And Miriam Silia, what a player she is. When she's getting it going, she can hit the ball as hard as anybody there is in the business. Huge jump, huge determination. And it says it all in the eyes, doesn't it? That ball is about to get thumped. And she'll be looking to do plenty of that during the course of this match. We're almost ready to go. Vakif Bank against Imoko Volley, Corneliano. The Super Vinyls here in Verona. Warm up over, time for the official team presentations. Everyone waiting patiently. We'll have the team lineup and the Champions League anthem, then we'll have the presentation of the referees. And then we will have the presentation of the starting players. Just figuring out where they've got to stand for the moment. That's quite a rousing anthem.
and better than ever. Time to meet the referees. Agnieszka Miklic of Poland, very experienced referee. The second referee is Mr. Dobromir Dobrev from Bulgaria. And Bulgaria is Dobromir Dobrev. Well, no. Gabby going through the outside, Isabella Hack in the opposite slots. With number 13, Michelle Bach. Michelle Bach Hackley is through the outside. With number 16, Elena Rasic, of course, Milina going through the middle. Mayor Gnenovic setting. Number 80, Sarah Gunesh is the other middle blocker. And it's Aicha Aikach is the starting Libero. That is who Giovanni Guidetti has decided can get the job done here. It's what the players have been waiting for. They're now on court just waiting for Canelliano to step onto court before both teams have at it here in Verona. Robin de Croyf will be going through the middle. And it's number seven. Raffaella Foley, who gets the nod at, ahead of Sarah Farr. Joanna Walsh setting number 14. Kim Hill through the outside, as we would have all expected. Miriam Celia will be starting number 17 ahead of Mackenzie Adams. And that only leaves one more player, doesn't it? And we all know who that is. Paolo Igonu of Italy in the opposite slot. And the starting libero will be Monica Bicinero. Daniele Santarelli, young coach, experienced coach though, with a very good team at his disposal. The players are ready. Hopefully you're all ready as well as we are about to get this one underway.
Just got to check the rotations before the Liberos will come in and then we can get going. There'll be nerves for the referees just as there are for the players and for you watching. And it's the Super Finals. Vakif Bank, Istanbul of Turkey, serving Imoko Voli Corneliano of Italy, receiving this is the CV Champions League Super Finals here in Verona. And it is side out for Corneliano. Raffaella Foley putting that ball on the floor. Confident start for her. As Volosh finds her. Now, Silia with the serve. Going after Gabby, who in rhythm is able to thump that one to the line onto Volosh. It's not brought back and it's one apiece. Slow down, first chance here for a break point. Hack takes it. Celia can't keep it in play. Good work by Vakif Bank. They slowed down the ball from that attack from Kim Hill. Gabby pops it in. Ognenovic goes quickly behind to Hack. That one's not coming back. Vakif Bank targeting Celia. Egono's first swing is a competent one, as you would expect. Foley now with the serve. And that's been given as out. I think it was in. So we're going to have our first challenge. What do you think? I think that's in. Although everyone else thinks it's out. If you're supporting Corneliano, it's miles out. And if you're supporting Vakif Bank, it's miles in. It just has to clip any part of the line, any part of the ball doing that, and it's in. Oh, yes, it did clip it. It is in. It's a good challenge. One of the interesting kind of side effects of the challenge system, and it's a brilliant system. It is absolutely amazing. But the human eye, as in the lines judges, who were previously the only ones who would uh, make those decisions, they're not stood in the same place anymore. So on the long line where that last ball went out, the line judge would be stood looking directly down the line. Now they have to stand off at an angle because the camera's got to see down the line. Does that have a bearing on the decisions? I'll leave that for you to decide. De Cruyff getting the swing away. Both teams going to their middles regularly at the moment. Nagonu not finding the range she wanted with her jump serve. Isabella Hack will now go back and have a go. That's oh, a great serve. And this will be free ball for Vakif Bank. And plenty of hitting options, including Ognjenovic, but that's well read by De Gennaro. Celia can only tip, but tips successfully past the block and onto the sideline. Way to get a side out after being in real trouble. I catch ran in behind the block and then had to change the direction. If she'd have stayed still and then gone to the side, she probably would have got that one. There is a lot to be said for defenders not running around like cats on hot tin roofs 
but actually standing still, getting into a neutral position and watching what's going on. Something that's been commented on by uh, one of the coaching wizards, Mark Leverdu, who was talking about Libros as one of the examples of, they look spectacular, they make all these touches, but don't bring the ball back. And when you look back at the footage, if they'd have stayed still, they would have made a dig that kept the ball in play. How many times have you seen that happen? Barch Hackley now with the serve. Not a bad ball in, but can't run the middle. Silia is slowed down. Oh, lovely, that telepathic reaction between Odmjanovic and Rasic. Spent so many years playing volleyball together at the highest level. And look at that great movement from Rasic. He's off the net, loads of room, comes inside to run the slide. That's just quality. Ball in from Barch Hackley because they can run the middle. Can Vakif Bank? Just a down ball coming here. Well, oh. it should have been a down ball. It should have been a ball as well with even some side spin on it. But that was Celia trying to win the point from that situation when she's in front of the ball. She doesn't have the right angles. That ball's coming around and across her. She was never going to get the contact she wanted. And that one, wow, one she won't want to do again. Well, the target of Celia is working for Vakif Bank, and it wouldn't surprise me if we see a substitution if Celia doesn't get her act together pretty quickly. Vakif Bank are going after her, and it's working. That time, though, Hill's able to play it, and Igonu has got that one. Off of the Vakif Bank player, or maybe not. Thought there was block touch, but it's been challenged. Alagono at the moment, she's uh, had one swing for a point, one serve in the net, and this could be an error, so she'd be minus one if that was the case. So far, not the best of starts for Palo Gonu. We'll see, did she catch the block? No, she did not. Maybe just a few nerves of Paolo Igonu. You'd think not, given the level that she plays at. But if you don't have any nerves in a match like this, then you don't care. Nice blocking from Cornelianu. Vakif Bank at the minute, who are leading the way here. That's a really good confidence booster for Cilia to get back into this one, actually. After shanking a previous pass. Hack. Oh, another block for Cilia. Well, if there was any thought that she might be coming off, she's doing her absolute best to make sure that those thoughts are being dispelled by the coaching staff. Two cracking blocks in a row from Miriam Cilia. Done her homework, taking the line away against Huck. Gabby tidies things up for that Eve Bank. A late finish for Paolo Igonu. She could really just go straight across the net, Ken Paola. Doesn't need to go up so high, particularly against Gabby. Good touch. Oh, and it stays in play and wins the point for that Keith Bank as everybody for Corneliano was looking around for somebody else to play the ball.
good work from Ognjanovic because he completely took Celia out of it, but didn't take Igonu out of it. The pipe being run. This is really good play. Watch out. Out of nowhere, really. In fact, she's come inside to hit a half ball in the middle. I thought she did a pipe. She hasn't. She's front court. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. What a swing. Good work from Kim Hill. Another chance for Rakeith Bank. Good cover by De Janeiro. Everybody out of system here at the moment. A neutral rally going on. Oh, then Igonu with the error. Just not quite clicking for her at the moment. Despite that absolute scorcher of a swing through the middle. Touch by eye catch and a great swing from Barch Hackley. Nobody in the way of that one. Barch Hackley in a good position, she comes inside and was given far too much court. Nagano lining that up, not right at all for Cornelianu. Hack will have another go. Oh, great dig from Celia. It will stay in play. Good up from Vosh. Oh, dear. That was such a difficult one to deal with for Raffaella Foley because it was right on the net. Couldn't dig it out for anyone else to make the play. But an exciting rally. Such an interesting technique from Maya Ognenovic when she sets behind. She actually turns her right hand. Looks like it's her palms facing her to set that ball behind. First timeout called. Classic live TV. So we're watching the Canelliano timeout and listening to Guidetti talking to Vakif Bank. Perfectly normal. Eliano with no real uh, sort of impetus at the moment. They've not got enough break points. They've made too many errors in their side out. But Keith Bank have been slowing them down and creating these opportunities to put themselves four in front, which they've done. This is better for Omiganu. She's in that kind of form. She'd go over the top of the block. And that's exactly what she's done. Which means the middles cannot be late against her. Yeah, Gennari has come in for some serving duty to replace Raffaella Foley. Setter by trade. Big hit from Hack. Hack at the moment is having the better time of it in comparison to Egonu. Well, I bet there's probably no more than a point or two in it in terms of the stats.
both teams working really hard to try and reduce the options available to each other because that's what's going to happen and that's what happens when those options are reduced you're just right we can't get the ball to our middle okay we can't get it outside okay i'll tell you what let's go to paolo Igonu. corneliano i think in that ball is hit above the height of the antenna that's ridiculously good you wonder how good much better perhaps paolo Igonu would be oh wonderful block a triple block against Hark. She cannot get over the top of that one. Pretty good work by the crowd. Right across the net, right into the space of Hark. Gone with the serve. I was commenting on. Let's see. You look at her arm swing. She doesn't really have a full back. With her arms go back straight to come right up to throw herself into the air as high as she could go which just makes you wonder how much higher she could go with a full arm swing. And really driving up off the floor. I don't think anyone would stop her at all, ever. That's just a, a, a classic. It's like a blocking swing with her arms when you're getting out to go and block with bent arms. It's not a, an attack arm swing, a spike approach swing. again that timeout call by Vakif Bank because of the run here by Cornelianu which has been thwarted by that timeout at least that's how it will be viewed by the team three point lead now for Vakif Bank Hack will go back and try to cause trouble with her jump serve touch really good pick up by eye catch well, that's a super break point for Vakif Bank and for those of you unsure what a break point is it's a point that's won from the team that was serving and they've done it by getting the ball into transition and then hack with just one step having a swing that's why she's there Another massive serve. And that time though, Huck not finding the court. Huck, such a great player, the Swedish international, but a player that is probably never going to play in an Olympic Games. And Sweden will never qualify for an Olympic Games, not in her career. But that does throw up other options for Huck though. And we've seen it in men's volleyball. A lot of the Cuban players who have naturalized in other countries and then have gone on to represent those countries and go to the Olympic Games as a result. Certainly something that for Hark is an option. Depending how long she stays in one country, she stays in Turkey long enough. And she's certainly young enough to do that and have a, a successful career. Just brilliant, isn't it? How quickly and how well Bakif Bank are using the ball at the moment. Fast swing from Gavi off of Borish's arm and out of play. Palla scontata, giocate col muro, o giocate di intelligenza, c'è Ognenovic in prima linea, H è profonda in difesa, qualità prima ricezione, spostiamo i piedi, vai, via! 
My Italian is not very good at all, but certainly talking about the intelligence required to play and being smart about what they're doing. It's certainly something that Vagif Bank are being smart about. They're going really quite quick. Ognjenovic is going out quick to Gabby because Gabby works better in, the, in that situation. You put a high ball out to Gabby, she's going to be in trouble against the big block that Caneliano can put up against her. That's better from Corneliano. Get a good ball in and they can run their middle. Nice work. Boris just a little step backwards, gets herself into a good position. And the crowd is always going to be the winner in that one. Nice ball in options. Oh, no. Or a complete miscommunication because Sparch Hackney's gone around on the pipe and then so too is Hack. And Guidetti's like, what's going on there then? Well kept in play. Free ball now, four attacking options for Vakif Bang. It's the middle and it's Rasic, but she hasn't found the court. That's so unlike Rasic. What's happened here? She's over, oh, overcut it. Really sliced on that one. Caneliano to within two. That's an excellent ball in. And Caneliano will take the point. A big break point for them to get themselves back to within one. Got to stop Gabby from doing that of Corneliano. That's a natural swing. Her technique wants her to come around the ball as she does here. And Walsh needs to be alert to that. She's got to make sure that she's really getting across and turning her hand inside, turning her thumb up on her right hand and angling that hand back down and into court. Dear me, it gone out been frozen out a little bit in this first set. Same position here, all looks good. She's actually then cut inside the ball and hit back outside instead of coming in a little straighter. Nice early call of out, well left by Celia. There's been many predictions about which way this super final will go. One of the predictions was the fact that both of these two teams would make it here, and that one has come true. But it, as to who's going to win this, and for that matter, the men's final, I don't think anybody really knows. Nobody knows. We're just going to have to wait and see and watch, enjoy, and be put through the ringer, depending on which team you're supporting. Right now, it's Vaki Bank in the driving seat in this first set. Gunesh through the middle. swing from Gabby but again though it's on that angle she's still got that little turn inside doesn't she as she swings on the ball but able to get past it was a massive block because Agano had stepped into the middle oh that's awesome from Gabby 
Eventually, the ball goes down. Foley puts it on the floor. Running the middle in transition. So much pressure on the middle. But the other side, Gunesh didn't really know what to do. She was thinking about going the other way to the outside initially. And that little movement, that little switch that way was enough of Wallace to go to the middle. Coming into the action now, Lara Cavallo. Outside hitter has played as a libero as well. Touch to Gennaro, stays in play. And again, better touch this time, chance for a swing. Iganu! Off the block and away. Game on. Two in it. Something for Vaki Fang to think about as we come to the business end of this first set. What a set from Bolosh. That's brilliant. Not panic stations just yet for Vakif Bank. Caravella to serve once more. There's a chance here for Canelliano. Can someone have a swing? Maybe. Hill can only push it long. That might well have been going out. Barch Hackley played it anyway. Nice cover. A bit tight. Canelliano had a chance, but that is a brilliant swing from Isabella Hack to get it off the block and out of play. Well, there were hands practically in her face here. That's awesome from Isabella Hack. Set point, Vaki Bank. Up against it. You would put your money on Paolo Iconu to come up with the goods. She has done. And the first set point is saved. But really good opportunity now for Vaki Bank to get it done from side out. Bank that decided to call a timeout. Hey, hey, option. Just we keep five from the net. Okay, because she was one ball like two ball like this. That's why she don't eat the pepper. Off the net, she can eat the pepper. Only that. Come on, Now you can call what you want. There is a gun in four. Okay. Sha is good. Sha two is good. Kosuni two is good. Three and go. Hi, hi, hi. An easy lead for Vakif Bank gives them the first set here in the Super Finals in Verona. Taking it 25-22 and they lead One ace apiece. Canelliano with three blocks. But it was the unforced errors that caused the issue. Paolo Gono making far too many. So 
this is where the attacks have been coming from. For Vakif Bank. Not that much through the middle for a team that really does go after it where they can off of a, a decent ball in. But that maybe attribute that then to some really good serving from Canelliano, and they've not allowed it to happen. Here are the highlights from the set. Just the start that Vakif Bank wanted. Taking the opener, settling any nerves. And now we move into the second set. Corneliano under the cosh a little bit. Haven't really been firing on all cylinders. say that either team have been their absolute best at the moment we've had some amazing rallies and some great individual pieces of skill but consistency is going to get oh dear that definitely wasn't meant for the middle because that would have been the quickest of quicks of all time that'll go down as a, an unforced error for Gunesh That was meant for the middle, and that one is put off the block and away. That's great play from Ognjenovic. After that initial hiccup, goes back, gets the middle, re-establishes Gunesh, all good. Pressure on Foley, Lucky Bank with the point. touch somehow De Janeiro did not touch the net doesn't matter because Hacks has made sure the ball has touched the floor with some authority That's how you hit a down ball. Well played by Barch Hackley. And now it's free ball back for Vakif Bank. And uh, an 80s style bit of volleyball from Barch Hackley. Looked a little bit catch and throwy. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Nice big power throw to the line. Perfect. Perfectly legal. I saw in the first set with Miriam Silia had a similar opportunity she tried to hit a winning ball and made an error in that last play Barch Hackley 
knows the situation she's in, gets the ball, keeps it in play, and from that, Vakif Bank are able to engineer a point. This time, Corneliano get their side out. Good use of the block. Nice play. Great to watch the slow motion and see how the game develops. No chance for Ogninovic that last play. Massive hit. Hundred and one kilometers an hour, no stopping that. Good pick up. And again, another good pick up, that time from eye catch. And Hack hammers it to the floor. Isabella Hack, born in 1999. 21 years of age, played for Sweden in the Junior Nebsa, that's the North European Volleyball Zonal Association tournaments. And now playing for one of the best club sides on the planet and doing what she does best. That's good blocking from Gabby. Just left a little bit of line. Tempting. Dickruff. In fact, she only put one hand up. Brilliant. Just cut away the inside. It's an unforced error from De Krauw. Covering, another chance for Vakif Bank. Kim Hill holds the ground well. Gonu, oh, good touch from Barch Hackley. That's some swing from Hack. Good defense, great rally this one. Oh, Volosh has a go, and eventually it goes down. In the end, the setter deciding that she's the player that can get it done. There's some great moments. This has a great touch from Barch Hackley, but this swing from Hack is incredible. We don't get to see that, which is a shame, but it's the skill involved to put that, keep that ball in play, and then Volosh goes on a slide. Oh, 
Mark again. That's fabulous. What a great swing it is going through the middle, Raphael Foley. But the timing of that one, this is an A quick, almost a zero tempo, up and down. The ball is hit, and Huck doesn't even move here. Gunesh is still trying to get up above the net, and the ball's already gone behind it. That's some pace on the middle coming from Canelliano. They're playing Blackheath Bank at their own game in that department. That won't come back. You just saw two middles and two very different types of middle. A quick ball in front of the setter and then this a two meter shoot away from the setter, trying to spread Canelliano's block, trying to make it difficult for them to stop Gunesh. Always gonna be Becky Banks ball. And now they lead by two. So you're still having a few ups and downs with their passing, which is causing issues for Canigliano. So, so yeah, having been replaced, well, it's the same story. And unsurprisingly, Mackenzie Adams, who's just come on, has been the player targeted in serve receive. Blackheath Bank pick up another point. Okay, this attack is not strong. We must do defense, okay? I want quality on the first touch, and then Asha doesn't run in his way, eh? Okay, quality on pass, you have the possibility. You have the quality to do this, eh? Okay. Then close the net and quality on set. Okay, aggressive in attack. Let's go. That's the receiving accuracy. It's not been great, has it? I mean, that's quite a wide area as well. That green area is not really what you would call the, the, the best spot for the setter. Ideally, it needs to be round about where that 54% is just across from there and just up from there towards the middle so that you can spread the play forwards and backwards. Or in front and behind, however you want to phrase it. Big swing from Igonu. Once you can get the setter into the middle of court to two and a half, three mark, then you've got options. You can really spread the opposition block by moving the ball quickly to the wings. Good work, Gunesh, and great setting again from Ognjenovic. Now Ognjenovic is pulling the strings for Vakif Bank. She's orchestrating the lead very nicely for her team at the moment, finding Gunesh. It's good blocking by Rasic. And also by Hack. And again, Vakif Bank done brilliantly. They've slowed the ball down. That is an amazing piece of play from Vakif Bank to stop Canigliano with two continuation blocks, then to slow the ball down and get it into transition. And what they do, run the middle, be quick, Rasic finds the gap between the blockers, point back each bank. Egonu again puts it away, but she has been pretty much a spectator so far in this game. Piece of ball by Mackenzie Adams. A 
player rumoured to be leaving the club after this season. Not sure where she's going to be going. Another player as well rumoured to be leaving is Lucille Chiquel, the French player who's uh, the opposite, second opposite for Canigliano. Also rumoured that uh, Megan Courtney's coming in to Canigliano as Kim Hill retires. So a few changes afoot, as there normally is after the end of a season for most clubs. Looking for a challenge here. Sure. Was there a touch? Sometimes in matches like these, when you're in a final, it can go in the blink of an eye and can become a bit of a blur while you're playing. And the art is to really just try and calm down, slow down, take stock of the situation. It is a touch from Iganu against Rasic. Not get lost in the moment, but to be focused and in the moment. Foley for Canigliano. Excellent ball in. Good work by Hill. It was a little bit low though, and so that meant Canelio had to speed things up. It worked. <laughs> that lateral movement beforehand from Ogninovic stopped her from making that play. It's vitally important in indoor volleyball that when you're defending, when the spiker leaves the floor, in other words, when the spiker jumps, so once they've jumped, before they hit the ball, you as a defender have to be still. You can't be fighting for position anymore. You have to fight to keep the ball off the floor. So you need to be still and in a neutral position so that you can play the ball if it comes at you, chase the ball down if it goes off the block, link into whoever else is playing the ball. Unforced error from the serving line. And back Keith Bank. Creep in front by one. This one is a much closer second set. Just brilliant. Iganu at her best. Lovely ball in from De Gennaro after that's clipped the net. So look at those reactions to volley and then a vol off the knees practically. And a swing from up near the ceiling from Iganu to put that one on the floor. Will she end up after this finals as a nice slow-mo like we just saw in a graphic that just says simply the best. Who knows? It doesn't come down to one player. It might be one player who has the swing to get the point as we've just seen with Hack or even the player that has the swing to get the match or the serve whatever it might be but it's a team effort right now the team of Akif Bank are keeping themselves ahead with Canelianu who are getting their rhythm and finding more opportunities to score their side out game is better it's funny isn't it how again but Celia wasn't playing badly, some good blocking, some nice hitting, hadn't got a serve going, wasn't passing great. She comes off, Mackenzie Adams comes in, and the rhythm of the team for Canelliano just seems to be a little bit more where they want it to be. They look a little bit more settled at the moment. But it's still only a few points into the, the substitution. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what a swing from Balo Iganu. You can hear the impact from contact to uh, touch. It was two massive booms. Boom, boom. And then it pinballs into Bart Chackley. Oh, it's great. You watch the way that she opens her shoulder, hips open, and then fires from her hip through and her shoulder. Is then sending her hand through at lightning speed through that ball. Oh, 
Hack is also a player who can do exactly the same, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how far out it was. It wasn't that far out, was it? That looks in. I think it was the fact that she was... Uh, it was it was miles in, so was she over the... Oh, he is looking at it in now. I was going to say, because... Yeah, it's, it's comfortably in. I think that's why uh, Canelliano's coach, Santorelli, was saying it's that far out because he knew it was in. A little bit of sarcasm from Santorelli. I thought for a second that it might well have been that Hack was a uh, backcourt player and had put faulted, but it wasn't. It was just a wrong call. I and mean, it's been sorted out. Well, hasn't it the floor? Great play from Hack. Oh, yes, it mid court. Mid mid court. It's a mid court action. It's a mid rally challenge. Did that ball hit the floor? Bolosh with the second ball over. Now, you can do this if you're new to the challenge system. You can challenge mid rally, which is a, a huge bonus to be able to do that. Because if you've seen something that's happened, like a net touch that's not spotted, or like this, where the ball may well have hit the floor. And also, one of the really good places to use it, which has really changed the way that referees referee the match, is on four touches, when the ball goes into the block or into the net and it's deemed not to have touched the block. Referees now just tend to let that one go and put the onus on the blocking side to call a mid-rally challenge to say we didn't touch it. Because that particular stat and that particular challenge has shown that 99% of the time the ball hits the net and hits the block. <laughs> yep. I think that one, you can put your hands that far wide, as Santoro didn't say yet, completely missed it. Just communicating with the challenge referee, there was, there was no touch, it would touch the floor. change for Canelliano. Julia Gennari back in. She came in in the first set to serve. She's coming again in the second. Canelliano then with their noses in front in this second set. That's not caught Gabby, I don't think. No, it hasn't. Well, Gabby rather hasn't caught the block. It did catch Gabby, that's for sure. Get it off the block, a bit of improvisation didn't work out. Can they lead by two? Time out, back Our serve, they serve, our serve, their reception. Uh, we were winning. He set our serve, drop, uh, drop. Always Kimberly, always, uh, always liberal or easy. Uh, if we don't go serve strong against the worst receiver, of course it's complicated. Uh, little more in, but we go Interesting from Guidetti, because they knew, okay, Vaki Bank knew that Celia was the worst receiver for Canelliano. So they were going after, going after, going after her. And now they've got her off court. So now who's the worst receiver? So you get that part done. You've got to have a backup plan, haven't you, in that situation. Right, if we get Celia off court, who's the next player we're going after? You can't suddenly go, oh, we've done that. Now what do we do? So they're talking about going after Kim Hill. They certainly went after Mackenzie Adams to start with. Ognjanovic fully entitled to put her hands up the way she did. She's not allowed to move her hands to the net as the ball comes against it, because that would be a fault, but she can just put them there, and then if the ball hits the net and hits her arms, there's no fault, and it does change, obviously, the trajectory of the ball. Substitution reversed, job done, as far as uh, Canelliano are concerned with regards to Gennari. Nienovic with the serve into a really strong rotation with Hack and Gunesh and Gabby in the front row. But it's side out for Canelliano. Gudetti's happy it's out. He's got a little view. He's got a camera. 
Everyone's got cameras nowadays, haven't they? And he's had a look. I'll tell you what, there's a shadow over that, isn't there? If the ball shadows the line, chances are it's caught it because the ball imp compacts down onto the floor when it hits it, which is something that came out of the uh, challenge technology. That's another uh, connection issue between Gunesh and Ognjenovic. Twice now that's happened in this set, right at the beginning and then here now. Ognjenovic was running a, a B and Gunesh has come in on an A. More issues from uh, Ognjenovic. They're looking for touch here, but Ognjenovic has set that ball. She's off the net. She set it away from Gabby. So Gabby's now trying to chase it, trying to get a hand on it and make something happen. As opposed to putting the ball just on the line she was on, in which case Gabby then could have had a swing on the ball. So let's see. Did Gabby get it off the block? Can't see anything from that. That looks like no touch. And you'd certainly think, oh, I don't know. But then when you look at that, that looked like it perhaps did. Watch the ball. Is there a movement then on the ball? It's so difficult, isn't it, to tell. <laughs> Paolo, Paolo Egono is like, no, didn't touch me. Which in that instant probably tells you all you need to know. Change for Vakif Bank. On comes... Uh, Jasu Bay, who's coming in as setter. So those couple of sets from Ognjenovic that didn't go where they wanted was enough. Guidetti to give her the hook and bring in Erzbay. Bakif get the side out. That's probably one of the toughest positions to come in on as a substitute is the setting role. But we've seen, and I've seen, and those who that follow that key bank will have seen Jao Su as they come in and, and turn matches. And when you are a setter, when you are the second string, you're always looking for that opportunity to get into the action and show what you can do and tell the coach, hey, I should be here, I should be starting. This is a wasted opportunity from Corneliano Foley way past that sideline. Nice ball from Adams. Good up, Di Gennaro. Oh, well played. That has become the new tip in volleyball. And I remember uh, we were doing it, coaching it with the England cadets and, and everyone's like you can't do that you can't tip the ball long well yes you can look you can it's legal and into that corner there's never anybody defending it there brilliant work that by Caneliano they're moving closer here to taking this second set and leveling things up timeout has been called But the game goes at such a pace now, so difficult to... Now, side out, which rotation we have. Everything is good. Keep sa, okay? Ball in the middle of the net, you can play, it's not open. Hide it. Sorry to, to stop mid-sentence, but you want to hear what Guidetti has to say far more than you want to hear what I have to say. talking about going back to the point about how, how quickly the game is in, in rally and the decision-making the speed of what's going on that, it's something that you can't just walk into but you have to be match ready on the sideline and be able to do that which is what Erzbay uh, has done another chance here for Vaki Bank to get 20 no not gonna happen that's a huge huge block What's going on here? 
Paolo Igonu is getting on through there. I think they've been given us a, a net touch against Corneliano, but it wasn't. The ball's come off hack and gone into the net here. So what's the decision? Let's have another look at this. That ball's blocked down and into the antenna. There's definitely no touch by Paolo Igono here. What she's saying is that's come off my forearm and gone down, so it's definitely... Oh, yeah, well, interesting. Maybe she was just signaling it did touch her, but she would never have done that. Still alive. Good angle, well picked up by Hill. Mackenzie was uh, getting ready to have a swing, denied from her, hat can only tip. Visionero, that's is it too tight. Oh, brilliant. Just keep giving it to Paolo Icon, and she'll find a way through in a moment. Well, let's give it to her too tight to the net. Let's give it to her slightly off the net. Let's. Make sure she doesn't have any room to have a jump of any height, any kind, but still keeps the rally alive. And then eventually, well, watch this go on, then you can have one you can actually swing on. And she puts it away. Just magnificent from Paolo Igonu. Caravello in. Canelliano two away from taking the second set. Hill gets slowed down. And that's just too tight, too far over. Trying too hard to find Paolo Iconu. Not even she could have a swing on that one. A serve for Vakif Bank. There's a good time to come up with one. And who is it? Of course it is, Isabella Hack. The one time where you are in total control of the ball. And she's come up with an ace right into that panic channel. Such a good serve, looking for another one. That's a brilliant pass. And an excellent side out for Canelliano to bring up set point. What a pass that was from Caravello. That's the first pass she's made in the match. She's come on to serve and play D. And then puts a ball on a silver platter for Volosh to find, to cry through the middle. And Canelliano now have set point. Oh, and it's an ace serve right back at you this time with the help of the net from Paolo Iconu. Canelliano take the set 25-22, and it is one all here in the Super Finals Verona. Same ace tally as the first set, but the aces in this one came right at the very end, didn't they? This is Corneliano and 
similar situation to the first set that Lakeith Bank had. More attacks from the right-hand side of court. So Paolo Igono and Isabella Hack, with the teams that are the players that are being used more. Although this side looking slightly more of a, a difference in set two, where the ball was going more to the outside with Canelliano. And they use the middle an awful lot. Look at that. It's a really good spread, actually, isn't it? It's pretty equal across the zones. It doesn't tell us. And some of that middle attack will be from the pipe as well, from the back court. So there haven't been that many from either side. It's a really good set win, that, for Canelliano. I think if they'd lost that second, they could have been in real, real trouble. Here are the highlights. Comparison between Huck and Igonu, 62% success rate, six errors though from Igonu, so 17 points, 15 points, only two errors from Hack. Which is something that I think those of you who are watching would have noted and certainly would have heard me re remark upon that the error rate from Igonu is quite high at the moment. Away we go with the third set. It's one set all here in Verona at the CV Super Finals. And the first point goes to Corneliano. And no surprise as well that uh, Adams has kept her place. Mackenzie Adams on court in front of Miriam Silia through the outside. It's a conundrum for Corneliano that, that they've been trying to solve all season, really, in that one part of the court. work from Adams. Oh, that one hasn't quite found the corner from Barch Hackley. Adams with a similar Approach and swing to Paolo Gono with that bent arm back. It's better this time from Michelle as she goes to the same place, but this time gets it off of De Gennaro and out of play. pass. Uh, Keith Bank, Rasic was waiting for that one off of Foley. Now they've got a chance in transition themselves. Hack! A dig from Mackenzie Adams. Oh, what a good up that is from Gabby. Down ball. Well played. Nobody ready for Corneliano. That's poor from Kim Hill. Now she gets out. But it's too tight, is it? No, oh, that's incredible. What a set from Volwa. She's backcourt. Was it over the net? 
That's always the, so probably one of the trickiest areas. Oh yes, it really was, wasn't it? When you look at that. Well, mind you, I think the net looks to be a little bit further over than the uh, centre line. But even so, as she brought that back, was there enough of the ball on her side? Answers on a postcard. That's a, a really debatable point in terms of the way it went. But it's Caneliano who have it. Finally, though, know, fluffing her lines from service so she can go and sit down and reflect on that for a moment she's replaced by the libero in for that key bank is i catch the starting libero and it'll be hack with the serve she's already had an ace in this match not a bruising serve from her but well passed good d from gabby available on the pipe but it goes to hack he comes on a bit of an inside 10 because they want to run a slide behind Vaki Bank. As Rasic has gone behind, Hack has to stay in front, and it does squeeze Gabby a little bit, so she's kind of out of the play. Although it doesn't really matter from that point of view because Caneliano couldn't stop what Vaki Bank were doing. Good serve again. Well, I'll tell you what, that one looked to be no different to the earlier one, did it? Well, that's the subjective nature of volleyball on certain areas. Is that any further over than the last one? No complaints from Bola. She probably thinks she's got away with the last one anyway. Hack, good serving run. That's three now she's had in the bank, so able to really put some effort into it. Paolo Agono effortless as she hammers that one away. Less said about that one, the better. Even the best players make mistakes. <laughs> Ball was showing her strength at the net. He went up, didn't really press, and was in, not in a good position in the air, wasn't strong enough. Hill to serve, dealt with by Bart Shackley. Dispatched by Gabby. Lovely speed of attack. Whipped out wide, and there's no way that the middle can get in quick enough. There's a gap which is exploited. readies herself to serve. I don't think that ball got above her head then when she served that. The contact point looked very low. Foley in and Decroy to serve. Nice work from Gunesh. Kinovic re establishing the middle, re establishing herself as well as the setter. Good dig that. Romognanovic, who was almost bowled over by the ball. Free ball now for Caneliano. He's got the ball a little bit too quick for Adams. Oh, that's brilliant from Voosh. Oh, that's a shame. Dijanaro couldn't scoop it around enough. 
as she went after it. What a really brilliant piece of individual skill. There we go. Any part of the body will do once it doesn't hit the floor. Some of you may not even know this, but it used to be that the ball had to be played above the knee. Just having a chat about players getting up, moving. Not allowed to getting away and the coaching staff leaving the bench as they did during the rally. She's not allowed. Well watched by Gabby. Vakif Bank pulling away here from Canelliano. Canelliano with too many errors. I wonder what Hill is doing here. Number 15, you're watching Hill. She's not, she's not ready for that at all. She's just busy watching. Okay. Pay attention, they can change their serve, okay? Move the feet is important, okay? Balance on pass, and then we can put the, the bagger there. Okay, on primo tempo, they jump with double block, eh? Raffi, attack in anticipo fuori muro, eh? Okay? La puoi far arrivare tranquillamente, e può fare quello che gli pare, okay? Quello che le pare. Falla arrivare, tanto con base 1 non arrivano mai sulla super in 4. English and Italian, so everyone can understand exactly what needs to be done. from Igonu. Is it possible that she's just trying too hard? That's well played. Foley had a swing at that. Wasn't sure perhaps if it was going to be for her. Kenzie Adams it is who puts it on the floor. Foley's up, swings, doesn't get it, keeps Gunesh with her, one on one then through the outside. The hack was too late. The play from Gabby. It was always going to be favouring Corneliano with that dang ball. So they pull a point back. Once again, the go-to player. But lots of movement around Ognjenovic to make it difficult for the block to get set and to close down anybody. Nicely done by Mackenzie Adams on that right side of court. at the moment for Vakif Bank. Nicely done by Hill. It's 
basketball in from Mackenzie Adams. She's had a started out at Virginia University, then went to Texas at San Antonio University for a college volleyball. Then played in India's day uh, Mia Geers before moving on to Germany where she played for Ladies in Black Aachen, SSC Palmberg Schwerin. It's a great block, absolutely brilliant. That one off the block in the way. I mentioned at the top of the show earlier on that Mackenzie Adams, whilst at uh, Finelliano now, was leaving the club and she's actually going to Turkey. So she'll be playing against Bakif Bank on numerous occasions to come. This is going to uh, Izasabashi. Oh, what a good serve that is. It's got Corneliano out of system. But brilliant from Hill. And now it's Bakif Bank out of system. Free ball hoisted high to the rafters. Three front court attacking options here, plus the pipe. Good dig by Icatch. Another free ball chance, although almost caught Caneliano out. And eventually it's put away by Egonu. She's just trying to work her way back into the match, Egonu. You just feel that she's still trying to find a comfortable rhythm. Certainly a ball like that is one that she will put away all day long. She's over the top of the block and there's nothing anyone can do about that. It's not as if she's hit past it, she's hit over it. Rasic, unforced error. Caneliano back to within one. A little bit of tension for Vakif Bank now. That'll be brought back into play. Oh, good swing from Barch Hackley. Good dig by Gabby. And a massive hit from Hark that isn't dealt with by Paolo Iconu. Perhaps he should have done better. It was right out. Well, it's just to the left of her. She got turned by that ball, didn't get one shoulder under the other. Chance to have got back on level terms has gone. Bakif Bank in front by two. Inside ten dispatched by Gonu. It's a, a, almost a unique part, is a unique part of the women's game of volleyball. You don't see this in the men's game because the men don't run a slide behind. And I say that, of course, there are exceptions to the rule, and there's one team that has done it on the international stage, and that's Brazil, with Lucas running a slide behind. That time, Iconu gets the dig on Hark, and then gets it off the block and away. So she'll be delighted with that. And Corneliano now level things up at 15 apiece. Very calm from Igonu. She wasn't trying to rush in, and just waited. Gets her timing every time she opens up, doesn't she? And she's absolutely looking to rip that volleyball apart with her hand. Didn't catch any of the block. It was to the side of the block, and then the net changing the parabola. The trajectory of the ball and it doesn't find the call. So just like that, an unforced error from back East Bank. And Eliano in front, Hill with the serve. Great 
great block from Bosch. She's been wiped off a couple of times by Gabby. This time she turns and angles her body back inside so the ball goes straight down. And in fact, a little bit of De Cruyff as well getting involved. Come on, two. Kimberly's not pushing the service, he's not pushing, you're just going back. He's not really pushing, so we go. And attention, transition. We give two Egonu from one, two meter linea free. Can attack only Egonu, two meter linea free from one. No. Attention, 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 attention. Hill once again from the serving line. Excellent ball in, plenty of options. And obviously Hack being one of them, stopping the run of Canelliano. Rasic gets in front, overloading on the right-hand side of court. Hammer and sickle stuff as the ball then comes back for Hack on her own. Well covered by Vosch. Oh, what a block. That's a monster block indeed. That one went down faster than it was hit. Oh dear, what a block that is. And a celebration to boot. Very nice play by Corneliano Mackenzie Adams with the swing, but had a gap in the block courtesy of all the other movement going on around Vosch. And look at that, that movement spreading the block wide, keeping the middle fixed and opening up the gaps to go into. Gennari in once again to adopt her serving and defending role. See uh, just a spectator at the moment. Had her chance in the first set, was a bit wobbly, was replaced halfway through the second. No chance of Huck being replaced. She brings Aki Bank back level. That was uh, some pass as well from uh, Emilia Isamoglu, who's come into court, number nine for Akif Bank. Canelliano <laughs> move into the 20 point zone. Good to see of that. Very quick hit from Adams. That's almost an E quick. Random play, really. No chance for the middle to get out anywhere near Adams. Thumper from Hack. Canelliano going too wide. Hack coming back inside. Adams had no idea where this ball was going. I don't think she lined up hack at all. Good up from Ognjenovic. Better chance now for Canelianu. Still though, both teams out of system. And it relies on some individual brilliance from Isabella Hack to give Vakif Bank the point and put them into the 20 point zone. They're now in the lead, right at the business end of the set.
Varch Hackley back into the action, into the front row. Gabby with the serve. Hackley was taken out so that... Melia Ismailglu could uh, come in and play defence. It's going to be a challenge here to see whether or not Vakif Bank have got that point. Was there a block touch? Not according to the official review. Nice work from Canelliano. Oh, what a block from Hill. One on one. They're the best when you make those kind of blocks. Well, those of you that have done will know exactly how Hill's feeling as he's just shut down Hack. Six blocks to one for Canelliano. But even so, it's still Vaki Bank who get their side out. That time Hack just goes past the block as if it wasn't there because it wasn't anywhere near her. Nice ball in by De Gennaro. But a great block from Rasic. Quite amazingly, just the second block for Vaki Bank, but it puts them to within two of this second set. Doesn't matter when you get them, it's what they're worth, isn't it? And what they do to the momentum. Gunesh loving it, Icatch loving it. Time out, Gunelliano. che ci abbiamo una palla brutta ma magari la giochiamo sul muro visto che ci sono e la rigiochiamo nel nostro campo se difende la creiamo a avere pazienza e andare avanti raga eh andiamo eh forza What a time to uh, come in and not perform. Ustilmaz couldn't make anything happen. And now Caravello comes in to serve, as she has done throughout this match. It's a huge number of service errors for Canelliano. Good up, Caravello. Vakif Bank will come knocking again. Hack, huge. And it's set point for Vakif Bank.
Hack was huge. So too is Paolo Iganu. But now she needs to be even huger. Not that that's a word, but she needs to come up with something from the serving line, that's for sure. Oh, great sweep. Could watch her play all day long. Same too can be said for Hack. Timeout called by Becky Bank. Set point back, Eve Bank. Caneliano with the serve with Paolo Igonu. They probably wouldn't want anyone else there, really, because Paolo Igonu's got a jump serve. She can get it going. She could get an ace. She could get back, Eve Bank out of system. It could get them the point they need to get level, or she could make an error. Not out of system. Hack for the set. Continuation block. Chackley. Oh, what a pick up, Caravello! But it's not gone in, and it's an error from Iganu. Guidetti is celebrating as if they've won the match. They haven't done that. But we're going to have a challenge. Was this in? It has to be in for Canelli. Oh, no, it's not in. It is out. And it is going to be the set. Rasic knew it. Guidetti knew it, Bakif Bank know it. We're going to be told it. Unless, unless Paolo Igono has hit this ball so hard that it is squished down so much that it's caught a bit of the line. That's the only hope they got now. I'm not sure she could have hit it any harder. Oh, we're looking for a net touch. Okay, well, there was no net touch, and it was out. So it is the end of the set. Vakif Bank take it. They lead 2-1 here in Verona at the CV Champions League Super Finals. Hardly surprising, there's very little between the two teams in terms of the stats for that set. It was neck and neck. It was all about the unforced errors and when they happened really to, to cause the flow of the game to go the way it did. And the biggest reason that Canelliano didn't stay in it was because of the unforced error at set point. This is Vakif Bank. The best spikers at the moment. Hack 25, Gabby 7, Bart Chakby 6. It has become, it did become, didn't it, a little bit of let's get the ball to Hack in that second set. Particularly when they weren't in system. They didn't have all their options, which is why Hack's there. And that's why she's got 25 points. Here are the highlights.
an interesting end to that third set. Some of you may be watching may have thought that the coach had challenged the wrong thing because of the ball in ag was it in or out but when we saw from the replay that it was quite a long way out and there's and it was seen by the coach of perhaps just clutching at straws really looking to see if there was a net chest just something to try and keep Caneliano in the set there wasn't anything for them they've lost the set back Keith bank 2-1 up there one set away from victory pressure now really on Caneliano although to look at Kim Hill you wouldn't think so Six each in terms of points. Kim Hill just the one error. Not been used as much as Barch Hackley. set well and truly underway and by Keith Bank take the opening point Self-recovered by Adams. And a big block by Barch Hackley to deny Mackenzie Adams and put back Eve Bank 2-0 up. Monster, 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 monster. with the service. Been quite an incredible achievement by Keith Bank. They've only missed the Champions League final four once in 11 seasons. Here they are, one of the most consistent teams of Champions League history. A block back. As Foley makes a point for Caneliano, and we're all square. Ganesh coming up with the point. in from March Hackley front court swing was able to get out stretch the block leave finally stranded in the middle Gunesh able to get past her easily don't have to hit it hard all the time still get the same score if you tip it and it goes in and get a block out it's one point Well worked off the block by Barch Hackley. It's quite an incredible achievement for Baki Bank Istanbul in terms of Champions League appearances. I said 11 final fours, four golds, four silvers, a bronze, 
and they've got three World Club Championship titles, as well as the numerous domestic league and cup titles in Turkey. The world's most decorated club of the century in women's volleyball, looking for a fifth title here. And they're going the right way about it, but Caneliano know that they have a fight on their hands and they will give it everything they have got. For all, Paolo Igonu with the serve. The ball in from Gabby. Caneliano have it into transition. Hill dug by eye catch. Gennaro just getting out of the way, and that's too far away from Gabby. So it's getting a little crowded out there on court for Caneliano. But the tandem worked very nicely. The speed of that, so little chance for the middle. It's so much time pressure on Rasic and Co in those situations. Gano. The last time these two teams met was in the semi-finals of the World Club Championship. And a game that lives long in the memory for both teams and for those that watched. It was a nail-biting tie-break that went the way of Canelianu. And it was became the Paolo Igonu show as well because they were match point down, Kim Hill serving. And they got all the way back in front and then eventually went on to take it. Canelianu with another big block just when they needed it. This time to Kral. Good movement from her to deny Hack. Time Gabby gets a block out. Gabby. Bank have the ball. Everybody not getting too carried away, staying focused, staying in the now. That really is the mantra for volleyball. You have to stay in the now. You can't think about the next touch, the next play, the next point. You've got to be in the now. What have I got to do now at this moment? There's no point thinking about going out for a hit if you haven't made the dig yet. Such like. One foot slide behind. Decry puts the ball away. Gabby going a little too far wide and trying to cut back inside with her hands. Didn't work. Just pinballing around. Well, eventually, the point goes away of Akif Bank. Hack will come up and be credited with the kill. Found the gap, didn't she, between Roas and Foley very nicely. to serve that puts Paolo and Paolo Egonu into the front row Mackenzie Adams and Raffaele Foley but there's no stopping that swing from Gabby Kopnjanovic <laughs> just knows exactly how to use Gabby that speed is what she wants
good effort from Barch Hackley, but unfortunately, when it comes off the hand like that, it could go anywhere. Ends up going away from everybody else. Adams serve. Excellent ball in. Options. Hack being one of them. And that's good work by Corneliano to slow it down, get transition, and get Igonu going. Corneliano lead by three now. Some thinking for Guidetti to do. So small margins. Just getting a touch on the ball makes such a big difference because as soon as you can slow it down, you've got a chance to transition it. Adams not finding her mark. Good dig. No double called against Barch Hackley. Good hands from her. But Caneliano come again. And uh, Ognjanovic couldn't get her hips under the ball far enough to angle the ball up in the air and keep it on her side of the court. Nogonu gets the point. Caneliano keep their lead. First time there was hips behind the ball from Gunesh. Second time hips didn't get far enough under the ball. Looking at the way Hack plays and being as good as she is and then she hits the ball so well, if she could learn to pass, she'd be snapped up, wouldn't she, by clubs. Because imagine that Hack and Igonu on the same team. It's a bit like Anderson and Mihailov in the men's game. Playing for Zenit. Anderson actually hit. USA opposite, but playing as an act was playing as an outside hitter for Zenit. Mihailov, the Russian opposite, playing in the opposite slot. Oh, I say, what a swing! Someone's just had a warm up hit and taken that one to Spike Town. Oh, my goodness. It's got to be one of the greatest hits of a finals. Absolutely fabulous. Oh, that was risky. Classic Ognjanovic, though. Not afraid to try anything. An audacious attempt at putting the ball over on two, but it's Caneliano now lead by four in this fourth set. Uh, the difference are two quality on defense. One, uh, because we are defending and we play uh, from, out, from outside the court. The ball of Kimberley, we have to defend in the middle of the court. Second, hey, when they are bad tempo, it happened already ten times in this set, they tip and we don't take the tip. When we are bad tempo, we give point to them. Classic Guidetti starts off all cheery and smiley and then he can turn very quickly and get quite upset. That's well left.
But Keith Bank not going away, are they? As you would expect, that break point off of the side out from 11 now, putting them right back in this set. Canelliano did really well considering that was by very high standards not the best of serves because it's been volleyed in by Bart Hackley. Ball goes out wide but a little high and it was Canelliano able to get onto it and slow it down, make the block. Getting better and better for Canelianu. Does well, just keeps it in play. Another chance, maybe. Good up from Igonu with the pancake. Oh, good dig! That's going to be over. Mackenzie Adams knew that, couldn't resist because it was going out. Gonu, good dig, Rasic. Barch Hackley's got it off the hands. Fakif Bank still in this one. say Mackenzie Adams being on court for Canelliano has made a big difference to them all for the better the craft with the serve interesting set there are a few calls for a double then, but setters generally get away with it. <laughs> Lovely play from Gabby. All she could do is put the roll on it off of that set from Jiangsu Ozbai. A double substitution to keep. Uh, Things ticking over here for uh, Keith Bank. Oh, massive, massive block. Gunesh and Hack closing down. Anything that Mackenzie Adams thought she had going just disappeared. 
That's huge. Hack all over it. Good work from Migonu. Four players beaten in by Gonu, two blockers and then the two defenders. Touch from Hill. And a massive swing from Igonu who's coming good at the right time here for Canelliano. in the middle, no, come on, let's go. A eh, long time they don't care about our middle at all, a eh, long time. Eh, they are playing without our middle at all. So we can go some sa, some cartoon, we can try. Aye, aye, aye. So that's probably the most vital bit of information from Guidetti to Ognjinovic is that they're not even bothering about our middle here. So let's wake them up a bit. Let's find it, let's get it running again. And if they are getting their middle running and keeping Canelliano interested, it means that that opens up spaces out wide. Bowash to serve, Igono into the front row with Kenzie Adams and Foley there. It's a good lineup. And straight away, Ogninovic goes to the middle. And they come up with a point. See how many times now Ogninovic does go to the middle off the back of that timeout. Good serve from Gabby Hill. Shanks the ball into the floor. to get level not gonna happen what a block by Mackenzie Adams gets a one-on-one -on -one against Hack that'll make her feel great because she got blocked by Hack just a few points prior and she gets her own back on Hack done really well every time she's come in and made a, an important touch or a play but is unable to get anything on that one side out achieved by a back east bank well that's the value of having gone to the middle it meant that Foley now is never going to get out wide to that ball it's a really quick ball out to Arch Hackley as well Meoglu is in. Oh, it didn't hit the floor. Canelliano thought it had. They were celebrating pretty much. They were beginning to come together into a huddle. That's a great dig, Caravallo. And a good one from Voash. Still, it won't hit the floor. But now it does. Off the block and away from Hark. A point that Canelliano thought they'd won has ended up being a levelling point for Vakif Bank. Nice work by Volosh, but all for nothing in the end. Giochiamo 
questo fuori muro, tanto sai che sta davanti a te si aspetta il colpo chiuso, fuori muro non l'hai mai fatto fino adesso e lo fai adesso, se giochiamo la base 7 Paola me la schianta bella alta, ok? Stesso identico lavoro che abbiamo fatto fino adesso, aggressive con colpi alti, ok? Those high ones, that's uh, Igonu, where she's been hitting. Twenty-one all. Makif Bank have leveled things up. Just when perhaps we thought it might be going to a tiebreaker. Makif Bank having other ideas here potentially. But sided out by Igonu, and that's the key here for Caneliano. They've got to keep their side out game intact now, no matter what. But also, they will need a break point, a point from service. So it is advantage Caneliano in that front. They keep back, need two break points for them to take the set and with it of course they would take the match being 2-1 up as they are chance here for Canelianu that was they were looking for a touch so there's going to be a challenge I'll tell you what that if it comes up as a touch off the block is an incredible hit and if not better than the one she pumped into the floor with no block because that ball has come over her head and she's had to turn with the ball and then pick up what's going on at the net to make something of that that was by no means an easy swing for Igonu oh, I tell you it's close but it didn't catch Barch Hackley Pack with the serve. 22 all. This is where Caneliano's serve receive unit has to be in tip top form. They need to get off this rotation straight away. Good ball in from Hill. Hack. Oh, well played, Dishinaro. It's a bit tight. Good hands again from Vakif Bank at the net. Oh, clever play from Barch Hackley. A little roller, just chipping it over the top. When everyone was expecting a big, booming swing, shaped up like she was, and then played a little roll that Borosh couldn't get to. Vakif Bank in front. Hack once again. Brilliant. And that wasn't easy. The cry coming in on the middle. She's got hardly any angle here. Look how far over she is, but make sure she swings that back towards the court a little bit. Keeps it in play. And whilst it's dug, it's dug out of play. Point. Corneliano. Nagano with the serve. Vakif Bank siding out for a match point opportunity. Not going to happen. Overpass. Hill puts it away. And Corneliano now have a set point chance. Brilliant serving. That's come up with the point for Corneliano. Total focus from Paolo Nagano. Another big serve, well dealt with by Barch Hackley. Hack has not found the sideline. The set goes to Corneliano, 25-23. We're going to a tiebreaker. We were always going to a tiebreaker, weren't we? This is just exactly what we wanted to see as neutrals. Well, that's a big miss as well from Hack. No need for a challenge on that one. Just trying to get Hill's fingers, didn't find them. The excitement, the drama. We 
are going five. Confirmation of the scores. It's point for point here. And now it's the tiebreaker to 15. We touch three balls at the end. We are doing everything good. Who's your money on? Just we stay there. We do it. We touch again. We touch again. The long journey. Canelliano again. They out block Istanbul throughout this match, but it hasn't changed the fact it's still 2-2. We're still going to a tie break, and it's still anyone's for the taking. Hack versus Iganu, 30 points each, but look at the error rate from Iganu, 13 errors. That's been the bane of her match, really. Hack only making four, but one of those was cost the set. The same two, though, for Iganu in the, I think it was the second, wasn't it, or the third. It's not about the number, it's about when they happen, really. You could only make one error. If, if Isabella Hack had zero errors right now, but we get to 14, 13 down, she has a swing and misses. And her only error of the game is one, but it costs them the match. So it's always more to it than just the stats that you see. So this is it. It comes down to this now, a race to 15. Got to still win by two clear. Teams will change ends as soon as one team reaches eight points. Everybody's given it their all. But only one team is going to be victorious. And over the next few dramatic minutes, we're going to find out exactly who. Tie break underway. Corneliano with the serve. And we'll see the Champions League Super Final. Nice take by Icatch. Good up from Iconu. Oh, it was all a little bit congested. And Vowash's decision to go to the middle turns out not to have been the right one. But do you blame Vowash or do you blame Gunesh? Gunesh is the one that got blocked. Oh, sorry, Gunesh is the one that made the block against uh, Bolly. There's no blame attached to Gunesh. It's a great block. Nice ball from Hill. Only the second time that Canellano have run that half ball in the middle. That time it didn't work. Rakeef Bank really have, they've not made all the kill blocks that Canelliano have made, but they have made so many touches to slow the ball down and get it into transition. That's been the difference. That's given them the chance to have swings. They've definitely made more touches of the ball by the blockers than Canelliano have. It's another one. Good cover from Gabby. She was waiting for the long throw. Oh, dear me. Classic from Paolo Igonu as an opposite player. That ball's come over the net and Igonu's first movement is away from the ball, thinking about the hit to come. So she wasn't in the now. She was thinking ahead instead of playing that ball. So as it comes over, she backs out. 
and Wawash is then left stranded. This is an amazing start for Vakif Bank and a horrible opener to the tie break for Caneliano. Timeout called by Caneliano. Gabby with the serve. Four nothing back Eve Bank. Great touch from Ognjenovic. The ball hasn't hit the floor. No challenge coming. Play continues. Now it does. We've got to still trying to work things out. She works out how to get that one on the floor. with the serve. She's done, as I mentioned before, so good in coming in and helping to rescue situations. Give back his bank trouble and that one is in from Egonu. A break point early for Caneliano from service, which is what they need. Really nice bump set from De Gennaro. Calavello once again. Good up by Bosch. Good touch in the block by Hill. Brilliant. Teams train that so much. The Libero being the setter, so long as she takes off from behind the three, she can then set in the front row and she finds Paolo Igono beautifully. And it's a joy to watch Paolo Igono in full flow. This is a great comeback from Caneliano from 4 0 to 3 4. Well worked that time by Hack off the block and away. Egono is so good on that side of the court that probably is one of the reasons why they wouldn't make a switch and leave Igono over on the other side to try and stop Hack. Hill being a decent blocker as she is and has had success against her. Foley to serve. Caneliano very much back in this deciding set having been 4 nothing down. thinks it's in. Oh, I don't know, looks a bit on the outside as opposed to being in, but we're going to have a look. Challenge has been called. Oh, it's 
looked a lot closer than that, didn't it, on the replay? Even though Celia's not on court, still very much a part of the team, shouting, screaming, cheering, helping, being a part and doing her bit. Oh, great block. He'll turn that back into the block of Rasic somewhat. Didn't really go for the edges of the block. Tried to get it through the middle, didn't work. Excellent pass. There's no stopping Canelliano when they can do that. Really good serve, but once the ball is in and it's all systems go for Canelliano, there's real trouble for Vakif Bank. Oh yes, good block. Foley denying Huck. If anything, Hack was coming from in to out. And then tried to come back inside again instead of coming from out to in. Lovely pass by Icatch. Good up from De Janeiro. Igonu, that's not coming back. Canelliano on a roll. Look at that face from Egonu. She means business now more than ever. Total concentration and focus. And it's like the light has gone on for Egonu, and she said, "Right, I've had enough of this. It's time to start playing." Teams change ends because we've got to eight points. Come at a bit of a timely moment, really, for Vakif Banks. A little bit of a break. It just means that if Gono has to stay focused, and she certainly does look extremely focused here. I wouldn't be surprised if she just takes a little bit off of her serve, like she did with her first one, just to make sure Vakif Bank have to play it. Indeed she does, a player who knows what needs to be done, and that was unlucky. Caravallo made the touch, but only into De Janeiro. And it was Vaki Bank, had to work for that point, wasn't given to them. Branch Hackley, nice ball from Hill. Well played to the middle, De Krauf pulling the trigger on that one. That wasn't easy for Hill either because that ball's come right over the top of De Krauf. And she's got herself a free hit right in between Rasic and Odnjenovic. Touch in the block. Begonu. Oh, yes, good blocking from Rasic. She's brought inside. And then Vaki Bank able to double up on her. In fact, it wasn't even double, it was a one on one for Rasic. That is brilliant. Massive block from Rasic. Gustav Ilmaz is coming in to serve. Rasic, the job done for the moment. It's a good serve. Free ball here for Vakif Bank and five attacking options. Gabby gets dug by Gonu. 
Work for Mackenzie Adams to do. It's still in play. Oh, brilliant from Igonu. Vaki Bank come knocking again and through the middle, but not found the court. Gunesh with the error. And the hard work for Caneliano pays off. What a get that is. And I said that Igonu was focused and in the zone, and that dig proves it. Drama. Foley for Caneliano. I thought it was uh, Decroyf, I do apologise. Foley's at the net. Good dig, Decroyf won't come back. No, it won't. Desionaro and Co were after it. It was uh, Mackenzie Adams trying to get onto it. Decroy facing towards the opposite bench, and that's where the ball went. Ognjenovic is going to serve, and they keep back into their strong rotation. Hack into the front row. Gabi and Gunesh. Good up from Ognjenovic. That's a massive dig. And a massive swing from Gabby. We're all square. Still absolutely no way of knowing which way this is going to go. What a dig that is from Ognjenovic. And then Gabby does what Gabby does best. Finds the seam between the block. Ognjenovic once more. What a good dig from Barch Hackley. Well, that one is away and gone. Absolute bumper from Igonu. And the ball is a goner. Eliano match by Keith Bank and moving into rotation one with three front court attackers now. Still goes to Agonu. And she's managed to get that off Gabby in a way. And that's a break point, Canelianu. It was off Bottas' serve. Because we are weaker, that's why we lose. We don't go with full power. In this condition, who attack full power? We go. Damn it! Jess is saying that they're not attacking with full power. <laughs> Looks like everyone's hitting the ball as hard as they can from here. Which way is it going to go? Ball wash back to the serving line. Vakif Bank need this side out. And that was a full power swing from Hack, but the block slows it down. And then Igonu with the cross court swing. And Caneliano are now two points away from victory. Good setting again from Di Gennaro. How do you stop Igonu when she can do that? Second time out by Vaki Bank. Torelli, pretty quiet, pretty focused. Boas to serve again. This is a brilliant run for Caneliano. Oh, 
That'll stay in play. De Gennaro makes a good touch. Mackenzie Adams gets the roll that hits the floor and it's now match point for Canelliano. They were 4-0 down at the start of this tiebreaker. And it was all smiles for Vakif Bank. And now Canelliano are four points in front and have match point. What a turnaround. What a point that was for Mackenzie Adams. Bosch to serve again. Gabby keeps Vakif Bank in it with a swing cross court. And now it is Vakif Bank with backs to the wall. Lovely swing that from Gabby. Canelliano need the side out. There's a net touch against Bosch. So second match point is saved. Canelliano have got two chances to get this done from side out. And a timeout called by Canelliano. They're in rotation one, which is a strong rotation, but only two players are actually hitting in their normal slot. Well, only one player hitting in their normal slot, and that's the middle. Gabby to serve has to get it in first and foremost and has to try and put Canelliano under some pressure. Iconu, oh, not made it. Well, I said it's rotation one. It's a strong rotation in so much as there's three front court players, but Iconu's not hitting on the left side in this match. She hits on the right. Mackenzie Adams doesn't hit on the left. She hits on the right. And it's only the middle of Foley that goes through the middle. So she's the only one in the comfortable position in this rotation. Has this ball clipped the baseline? Have Canelliano actually won it? Or have they got to go and try again? Have Vakif Bank saved a third match point? Oh, it's taking its time, isn't it? There's anxious looks now. That's a long wait for everybody. Eyes fixed firmly on the screen. Hands held. And for those of you at home, probably no fingernails left here. Hearts pounding. Is there a touch? They look for a touch. And a touch has been given. It's caught hack. And that's it. It's done. It's dusted. Canelliano have won. It's all over. Their first ever CV Super Final. And Canelliano. That have tried for so, so long that they are now the champions of Europe. Their first ever gold. And they did it the hard way. And now the emotions and the tears can come. That's the realisation of a dream. It's a grand slam for Canelliano, World Club champions domestic league champions, domestic cup champions, domestic super cup champions, and now European champions. Heartbreak for Vakif Bank, who are looking for a fifth Champions League, but it's not to be for them. The final score here, 3-2 for Canelliano, 15-13 in the tie break.
The celebrations will continue long into the night, no doubt, for Caneliano and for the fans, for all of you supporting them, watching, jumping around in living rooms or wherever you're watching from in utter joy for your team. And it is tears of joy, especially for Foley, who was in the last final and lost to Vakif Bank, but has made it back again and has now won and has her gold medal and is a European champion. Oh, it's heartache for Gunesh, not to be for her this time or for Vakif Bank. But that's the nature of sport, the nature of this sport. There has to be a winner, there has to be a loser. There's no draws. And that's nice to see. De Gennaro put in a couple of absolutely brilliant sets for Paolo Agano to put the ball away. Barch Hackley putting a brave face on things. But it's difficult to remain stoic when you've just given it everything you've got and it's not been good enough at the end. But at least Vakif Bank can do that. Oh, and you have to feel for Isabella Hack. Heartache for her and for the rest of the team and for those of you supporting Vakif Bank. Here are the stats. And it's that top one that really is the one that counts. Three sets for Corneliano beating Vakif Bank, who only managed the two. The players still celebrating, as you might expect. They don't want to leave the court. They want to enjoy the moment. But what a moment it is for them. Unbridled joy for Caneliano. here from Kim Hill. Kim, what a fantastic <laughs> match. A five-setter went down to the wire. Almost looked like Vakif Bank could have come back, but you guys executed better in the fifth. How did you do it under such a tense circumstance? I think we, I think we did it purely by willpower and wanting it so much. Um, Frick, Vakif Bank obviously is an incredibly strong team, and that's what more could you want from a final, you know? Like, so close and so hard fought, and I'm so happy and so proud, sorry. <laughs> so, what does it mean? I saw you celebrating so deeply with your team two years ago, unfortunately,
disappointment this year with almost the same group. What does it mean to go through that journey together as a group? It's incredibly special. Uh, so, so, so special, especially after last season not being able to finish and wanting to so badly and being able to come this year and do all the things we wanted to do. It's, there are no words, really. Do you have anything else to say to all the fans watching? Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone, especially our fans. Um, our Emoco fans are the best in the world, and to not have them in the gym this season was was difficult, but we love them, and we love all of you, and I love my family. Hey. <laughs> thank you, Kim, and go celebrate with your team. Thank you, thank you. And everybody loves you, Kim. What a great game it was. And in the end, it's... Imoko, who have reigned supreme here in Verona. They've beaten back Keith back by three sets to two and are the champions of Europe. Oh.